3D movies should be awesome, so why do they leave so many people feeling sick? Anthony here for D News, and I love 3D movies. I do, and I have always known that they are not for everyone, but it turns out that they are not for a majority of the population. A new study says 55% of people who watch 3D movies have some sort of adverse physical effect afterwards. About half reported that watching the movie strained their eyes or blurred their vision, and one in five said watching the movie gave them a headache or made them feel disoriented or off balance, and one out of every 10 said they straight up felt nauseated. Movie magic, you are letting us down. So what's going on here? Well, first of all, headaches. Perfectly symmetrical people are in the movies and the rest of us watch the movies and we do it with asymmetrical eyes. And tiny differences in the strength of muscles and vision between our two eyes are very commonplace and our brain usually compensates for them. It's the brains putting together the two different perspective of our eyes that makes our sense of depth happen. And movies are obviously not shot at the same angle as our eyes. They used forced perspective and deeper than real depth to look dramatic. So all those little imperfections that our brains learn to help our eyes compensate for are thrown out the window. And now our brain and our eyes are straining and working overtime to process all this new information. If that doesn't sound like a migraine waiting to happen, I don't know what does. Now the dizziness and nausea are sort of a reverse motion sickness. Seeing isn't just about your vision. Your body's got a ton of different systems all working together to process the way you see the world. Your eyes and brain do a lot, but your inner ear uses fluid to calibrate balance, sort of like your own internal accelerometer. Think about reading in a car. The book is staying still, so your eyes are like, okay, we are still. But your inner ear is feeling the car wobble and your brain is just like, that's it, I'm out. The differences in the information confuse it and make you feel sick. Watching a movie, your eyes are taking in all this motion, but your ears are telling you that you're just sitting still. Now that's easy enough for most of us to deal with in 2D, but if you add all that weird, fakey depth of 3D and it's just too much information to reconcile. Some scientists think that it's actually a defense mechanism because a lot of natural poisons cause conflicts between your eyes and your inner ear. So you feel nauseated because your body wants to throw up the poison and clean out your system, which is exactly how we all felt after Clash of the Titans. Am I right? Movie joke, hey. Okay, so how do we fix this? Preferably before the next Hobbit comes out. Well, Hollywood says they're working on it. 3D glasses from a few years back had those shutters in them, and moving to glasses without moving parts has caused less eye strain. 3D movies also used to use two different projectors that were constantly flickering to send info to each eye, and if the projectors weren't perfectly lined up, perspective would be off, everybody would feel sick, and now they use a single digital image. Hopefully, as the technology keeps advancing, theaters will be able to eliminate the nasty side effects of 3D altogether which is good because people, you really have not lived until you've seen Step Up 3D the way it was meant to be seen. Do you guys like 3D? I will admit that it makes me a little queasy, but I think it's worth it. Kind of like riding a roller coaster. Let me know and subscribe for more D News.